going to be on Arizona Sunshine, but not just Arizona Sunshine. It's going to be on my personal favorite DLC, The Dead Man. We're going to play the DLCs before the main campaign, because I'm not quite sure what order they come in, and I don't want to just go and play the campaign and say, Oh, hey, uh, this video is going to be on, on a new DLC that, uh, this is going to be on a DLC that happens before this. Okay, so, welcome to, to the Dead Man DLC. And, new game. This one I can actually knock out pretty quickly. That is if you know what you're doing. Lieutenant Parker here. The outbreak is now beyond our control. Our orders are clear. We're going to launch the nuke. Okay. But the missile base was overrun and locked down, so it's your job to get inside via the service entrance and confirm the launch manually. Do you copy? Over. Copy. Roger that. Just get in, fire a rocket, and enjoy the fireworks. <sighs> Easy enough. That's the spirit. I'm in the truck on the other side, and we'll give you a safe ride home once everything's done. Good luck. Over and out. Now... This game is actually amazing because, you know, I I just love shooting guns in VR. It's so satisfying. Especially when you're good at, at it. And you can tell how shaky my aim is. Zombie! ammo I can before, you know, going into the silo, because the silo is a very dangerous place, especially without any ammunition. And plus, just getting into the silo nearly killed me on my first playthrough of this DLC. Now look at this place. An apocalypse. Service elevator. Sounds like my way in. Oh no, my mask. I always just love wearing masks in these games. And let's just delay the zombies slightly more than they already are. Now that is the missile silo. That is the missile, if you couldn't tell. Elevator hill. Okay, hailing out. Perimeter breached. Perimeter breach. That ain't good. Call them runners because they run. And don't walk like normal zombies. Most zombies are slow. The gold one's here. Okay, how much longer? 18 seconds. Seconds that I get to go up. And then we get to start the real fun. Elevator. Elevator. Maybe it is. I don't know. Okay, look at that. Ten shotgun ammo. 
once I never will again. Here I am, Stop. risking my life so I can wipe my hometown off the face of the earth. <laughs> Anything to make my kids sleep easier at night. I feel like I feel like that might not be the best thing saying now. You know, after four years to uh, take place a bit. How do I say it? A bit uh, after, you know, the fall, or more accurately, after the fall of Arizona. I feel like the government will try, uh, to, you know, I feel like I'm sent by the government to wipe Arizona off of the, off of it, by blowing it up. Ooh, fancy it. If I look at some, uh, particles, that's because I've been playing a bit of Resident Evil 4 VR, which I'll also record soon. Where are these zombies? Hmm. Never knew you could go into the bathroom. There's ammo. information for my first playthrough. Now, I'm not sure why, but here it just gets dark. Parker here. You'll need to restore more power and reboot the system before heading on. I'm sure you can find a solution. Reboot the system. I remember where that was from my first playthrough. On my first playthrough, I was just... I was just screwing around and couldn't find it because I'm blind. Well, I did find it, I just couldn't figure out what to do. Seems like I'll need to get in here. I need to get in here. But that's locked. So I'm pretty sure I gotta find a key somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where it is. This was where I got this mask. As you can see. Because this mask only is available in the Dead Man DLC. And it looks cool, so I like it. Anything that looks cool and isn't a DLC that I can use to uh, say, Hey, I bought the DLC, so I spent like, what, $2.50 more, more than it cost to get the original game? Oh wait, no, it's not $42. It's like a... Two dollars and fifty cents. Dang how there were zombies. This would be where the key is, but I'm not quite sure if I remember where the key was. Or maybe I just shoot the lock, I don't know. This game even takes place in America, you'd probably have to shoot the lock. A key. Yep, this is definitely where I need to go. Now look at how dark and ominous it is in here. Now look at that. That's, um, probably spawned in because I found the key. Now after I play through both the DLCs, I'm gonna show you the real campaign. In the damned DLC, it costs like a uh, five dollars, which is more than, than the Dead Man DLC. So it's gotta be better and have more content. Oh hey, look at that! Now I can see. Alright, looks like the system is up and running again. Good job. Now get to the panel and hail the car.
Oh, I remember how well Sunshine Festival Festival won. Card held. <sighs> what you say the Sunshine Fest, you know, didn't go so well. Oh shit. So. Sector C, the silo. Now, the ending to this DLC is pretty special for this type of game. Now, that is what I want. I don't know why I tried to shoot it. I'm dumb. I tried shooting a giant missile I'm going to launch. And, and you see that up there? I got escape through. I was originally planning on playing the damn DLC, but I feel like playing the Deadman DLC, because it's far quicker. It won't take me five decades to edit. Because if it- because if it's- because if playing through the entire thing, which I'm probably gonna do, is a long task, it's going to be a long editing sequence, which I don't like doing a lot of editing. I know, real shocker. Er. Person who wants to edit, you know, doesn't like their job. Looks like shocking. someone aborted the launch just in time. Yeah. Forgot for us. Now that means we gotta go unaboard it. I can give people who play this game shoot anything that moves. I mean, it's pretty universal advice for, you know, games that involve lots of guns and lots of killing. But in this game, especially, shoot anything that moves. Because they can't just run up to you, they have to run up to you instead of shoot you. So it's far easier to kill them. Shotgun ammo was a pretty decent idea. Now this shotgun has to be my favorite flavor. Because I mean, look at this thing. This thing has some power just by looking at it. 
let alone, you know, using it. Okay, checkpoint reach. Brace yourself. Okay. So we've reached the checkpoint. We're gonna have to go launch the missile from here. This is probably the best part of it. You know, because you're escaping a long point. In any zombie apocalypse, the only objective you should have is run. Lieutenant! Lieutenant Parker? Oh shit. So much for a safe ride. Yeah. Get in. Oh. Run. Get in the house. He's in there. Safe zone, I think. Oh wait, no, this isn't the safe zone. The next area is, though. <coughs> oh. Damn. I don't like the green. Oh, oh man. Our zombies are coming we use for green. Are coming we green. We're the area of all of our unwanted friends. Is that... is that the refinery? Yeah. This is Corporal Chan Doxson. <laughs> of the 5th Special Forces Group. <laughs> is anyone there? Roger, Corporal. This is Captain Lopez speaking. W um, wasn't Parker gonna pick you up? What's your status? Over. I'm barely... I'm barely holding it together. <laughs> the missile... The missile kicked the shit out of me. And Parker, he, uh... He didn't make it. Okay, Dr. Smith, you need to haul your ass to the entrance ASAP. We're about to have a lot more company. Copy that. Over and out. 
gonna be there for you, Lucy. My little angel. Yep. <coughs> Gotta keep moving. Come on. In the main campaign, once you reach the refinery, there's no everyone there is dead. So, uh, it's up to you to figure out what happens to the refinery, because they don't really give you any clarification other than the ending of the DLC, which is sort of does it. Lopez here. We'll open the door, but you have to ensure the coast is clear first. What? what? Oh man, just please just open the freaking door. I got my money's worth with that DLC. Two dollars and fifty cents for that. An action-packed DLC. Now let's watch the credits. Vertigo Games. The creator of plenty of decent and amazing VR games, such as this Unplugged and Soon After the Fall. Studio director. Mm -hmm. Everyone who did this did a great job. Director of business development. That's. I'm not quite sure what that is, but it sounds important. The main reason I got Arizona Sunshine was because it was on sale for half off, from $40 to $20. Who wouldn't buy that? The Quest version. The version I'm using. To get this amazing game onto the Quest 2, and, well, Quest 1, even, I'm surprised they managed to do it. They had to take plenty of, well, limitations and hardware limitations, but, I mean, once I get a PC VR or a compatible PC, I'm definitely gonna play Arizona Sunshine. And, uh, well, good for me, it's cross-buy, so I don't have to spend $30 on the PC version. And I can speed this up. So, slow down the video if you want to watch this, or... The original version. You know, I originally played the... I played the Damned DLC before I played the Dead Man DLC, mainly because I knew what the Dead Man DLC had in store, and that sounded a lot more entertaining than reactivating a dam. But I mean, the ending to that DLC w was also a pretty cool. Because I mean, I'm not going to spoil it until I make that, that video, but it's pretty cool. Ah, my favorite one of the special thanks to all of the Freddies out there. 
And if you don't get that because you haven't seen any of Arizona Sunshine, uh, the main character, which I'm not quite sure if there's a name for him or not, uh, the main character you play as in the main campaign that comes with the game, uh, refers to all the zombies as Freddy's, not zombies, which makes it a lot more entertaining, the fact they put in a special thanks to all of those Freddy's out there. So that was the the Dead Man DLC by me, Kakar1000. And this is the mask I will always wear from it. It's better than the previous mask I wore. This one. Sure, this mask is terrifying, but it's far that's far less entertaining than this, which, you know, looks like a special ops mask. Of course, that was all we had for this video. In 27 minutes of the Dead Man DLC, which, the Dead Man DLC, that is the image you get for it. Now, for a preview of The Damned, which will be released soon. by released, I mean I'll release a video on it. This is all you get. Single player mode? Apocalyptic mode? Nah, I'm not into that. Hard mode? Nope. Easy mode, that's what I'm talking about. Well, looks like we he ran out of editing budget. Have a good rest of your day or night, or whenever you're watching this. <sighs> Cat Gamer out.